And we return here on Sports Night, presented by Baptist Sports Medicine. On 102.5 The Game, our Titan Players Show continues on this Monday night. Coming up a little later on the game, it'll be the Lions and the Bears, an NFC Norris Division matchup. Lions at 2-3 and three on the road against the 4-1 and one Bears. The Bears come to Nashville in two weeks with Jay Cutler and company. Cutler having a pretty solid season, despite the one bad game he had against the Packers a few weeks ago. Bears are... They've been playing a tremendous defense here, and, and so it really looks like they've got the inside track there, and I'd be surprised if the Lions could, uh, could pull this one off the way they've played. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult game for them, especially on the road Monday night in Chicago. And like you mentioned, uh, their defense, four straight games with four touchdowns. I mean, these guys can certainly appreciate that. And Jason McCourty and Jordan Babineau, I mean, not only are you opportunistic and you're making, you know, things happen on the defensive side of the ball with turnovers, you're, you're turning those in to six points, and certainly that is always a recipe for good things, and, and that's been the case with the Bears. Yeah, definitely. Like uh, Bab said earlier, uh, when we win, the uh, turnover ratio is huge. Uh, yeah. It just heightens your chance to win the game, and I've, I got the chance to see the, uh, the Bears defense play. I, I think that was against the Cowboys earlier in the season in a primetime game, and man, I think they took two interceptions back for touchdowns, and uh, when you do that and you give your offense that type of spot, uh, you're going to win a lot of football games. I remember it was two games in particular two years ago on the road that that was really the difference for you guys in coming away with, with victories in New York against the Giants, or I think you had the pick six, and uh, the Cowboys game. Yeah, no, nah, uh, the Giants game I had to pick in the, in, the, uh, in the Giants end zone. They were in the red zone going in the score. That's right and got a pick in the end zone, and that takes points off the board. And uh, it's demoralizing for an offense when you're right there and uh, you're looking for the touchdown. If not, you know you have easy three points on the board. And I remember uh, last year, Vern gets an uh, a interception and returns it to, like, the goal line for us uh, versus the Cowboys. And when you can do that, man, take points off the board for uh, their offense and turn that into points for yourself, uh, it's a huge momentum swing. All right, our Little League Team of the Week, presented by Swiftwick Sox, ready to ask some questions on the air to these guys, the Nolansville Panthers, who are having a great great season. Zach Bingham is out in the audience. Zach, who you got? Yeah, you guys were talking about how the Titans linebacking core is injured. We got linebacker Luke here. What do you, what do you got a question for the for the guys? Um, what do you run more often, zone coverage or man to man? Uh, for us, we mix it up. Uh, we play a little bit of zone and we play a little bit of man mixed in with some blitz as well. So. Uh, as a defensive player, you got to be able to play them all. So you got to know how to play uh, the zones and the different ones and which areas. But you also got to uh, be uh, uh, have enough uh, com competitive nature in you to get up there and play man to man as well. Jordan, it would seem like it's more natural when you're growing up as a kid to learn how to play man to man. How, how do you learn how to play zone? Well, you, it's just about understanding landmarks and different positions on the field. You know, it, it's, it's the thing that I can say that will make it simple is understanding that there are, in a way, certain parts of the field that you would call a zone. That's between the numbers and the sideline, the numbers and the hash, in between the hash, and then on the same side of the field between the hash and the numbers and the numbers and the sideline. That's the best way and the most simple way that you can kind of dissect what the zone coverage is and the responsibilities are. So knowing where you are in the field is, exactly. is a very important part of zone. Exactly. exactly. All right, excellent question. We're going to give... Uh, our linebacker friend out there, a little gift certificate from Sports Seasons. We want to thank them for, for sponsoring our show here tonight. Okay, Zach, who we got next? Yeah, up next we've got the quarterback of the Panthers, Nathan here. What's your question? Um, when Jake Walker is back, will he be the starting quarterback? Oh, now, okay, we're looking for some scoop here. <laughs> Uh-oh, looking for this. He's asked uh, the scoop. question. This is the question around town right now. Uh, yeah, that's tough. You know, <laughs> let, me, I think let me get on the that, phone with Munch. Yeah, call Munch real quick. <laughs> and see that. And I don't want to step on any toes. But I do say I like your shirt. My game is sick. Too bad it's not contagious. That's, <laughs> that's nice. a nice shirt right there. We'll change the subject on your question. Though. <laughs> well, Nice we'll, deflection, Jake. All, all we can do is say what, what Coach Munchak said today. He, he's been consistent about it. He yeah. says when Jake Locker is healthy and ready to play, he will go back in there. But they have the luxury uh, of, of taking their time with it. It's not like they've got to force it back with Hasselbeck playing as well as he is. Well, and you have to be careful when you, we talk about an injury that Jake Locker sustained twice yes. already early on in the season. I mean, I think you start messing with shoulders popping out, you get into that third time, I mean, then you start talking about season-ending surgery. And I know you guys can't think like that. You have to go out there and just play, but I think it's better at this point just to, you know, 
enter with caution and, and get that thing as close to 100% or 100% if you can, and then go from there. All right, let's go back out to Zach. We got a couple more questions here. Who's up next? Yeah, we got Tyler. He's the fullback of the Panthers. Oh, Tyler, the bruiser. I like it. The bruiser, yeah. What's your question? What's your favorite play as a Titan? Uh, my favorite play as a Titan. Uh, last year we did a cornerback blitz, and I got to, uh, <laughs> I got to blitz and get a hit on the quarterback. So uh, that's something different that uh, you definitely enjoy as a cornerback, a chance to go to get after the quarterback a little bit. But what's it, what's it like? Because you don't cornerbacks may not get a blitz an entire game call. So when that call comes in, well, what goes through your mind? Is, does your heart start pumping a little bit? I got to get there because as a <laughs> cornerback, you know when you call a blitz and you're man to man. You're in your head, you're like, man, I hope the guys get there and help me in cover. So from being in that position, when I get a chance to blitz, uh, you got to go that much harder just to help you guys out in the secondary. Jordan, when, when you're trying to disguise a blitz, how, what, what are the things that go through your mind? Because you don't want to seem so anxious that the quarterback, okay, I know, I know Babineau's coming. You know, the biggest thing is timing. You know, uh, getting the, get, you know, for me, once I get the play call, I take a look at the, uh, at, at the shot clock you know, or the play clock. Uh, usually been the back of the end zone. So I'm, I'm ahead of the quarterback before he even breaks the huddle. And then it's about timing. Whether they motion someone, usually is a, is a good sense to kind of gauge your timing when you can start coming down. And then there's a time where you just can't. You just, you just got to get there. And, and the bottom line is sometimes you, you, you can't disguise too much where you don't take care of your responsibility. Well, what is the tip that says this quarterback knows I'm coming? <laughs> eye contact. He points to what he looks at. No, you. seriously, it's, it's eye contact because the easiest read for the quarterback is the safeties. I mean, it's easy to see the, the direction of where the safeties are going to rotate, who's going to be the, the box guy and, and where the rotation is coming from. And then not only with that, these guys study film as well. So they, they know our tendencies as a defense. They know the guy who's likely to come down, and they match the front with the back end. It usually works out for them every time. Have you ever had a quarterback call out your number and say, I, I know what you're doing. J-Mac, J he, don't, he don't know anything about that. But <laughs> from, from playing down in the box a lot because I played in multiple positions, I played a little inside uh, the dime linebacker type position, you know, there, there are times where the center will point at me and say 26 is the mic. I'll look back at him and say, no, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got the wrong guy. All right, so your favorite play is a tight. Uh, last year uh, in, in Cleveland, the 97-yard uh, touchdown. Big play Babs. Big play Babs. And I, that was it. It took no question 10 about. seconds to get to the end zone, though. Well, All right, we got a gift certificate from New Balance of Cool Springs. Want to thank them. We've got time for one more question, Zach. Yeah, Jason, we got a fellow cornerback. There Braden. we go. Well, what's your question, Braden? What's most interceptions made in the game? Mm. Uh, in college, I had two interceptions in one game, one return for a touchdown. Off? Uh, against uh, South Florida. South Florida, yeah. all right. So that was the most in one game. I've never had two in one game. <laughs> Uh, they play Babs, never two? <laughs> no, never two. Oh. But, but I have scored four touchdowns in my career. Uh, I've, I've probably had maybe a 12 or 13 type tackle game. You talking about Little League? or No, no, man. I'm talking, I'm talking, <laughs> I'm I'm talking sure. professional, man. It's NFL. I'm talking four about, touchdowns in one game? No, not in one game. Man. Oh, Come the on. entire season. Over, over my career, I've oh. had four touchdowns. And, so and nine years. Yeah, well, how many have you had? One. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, that, that's the, one of the most proud moments that, that I can say as a professional player that I've experienced because it goes to show how much the hard work and the dedication that we've had have really, really paid off. Great stuff. I want to thank our guys from the New Orleansville Panthers for asking great questions here tonight to these guys. I know they appreciate it. When we come back, we'll wrap things up. We'll have a little fun round, some non-sports questions or maybe some off-the-wall sports questions coming All up for these right. guys. Stay tuned. This is Sports Night presented by Baptist Sports Medicine on 102.5 The Game.